Greetings, my brothers and sisters. It's that time again. Time for a little spiritual pick-me-up to carry us through the week. I thank you all for joining in. As I reflect back over the recent events in the last three years, I'm reminded of how the affairs of the world have greatly impacted our everyday lives. And the impact has been felt physically, emotionally, and psychologically. The uh, after effects have caused us to view the world often through a negative lens. But before you start to lose your mind and slip into a state of anxiety, depression, and despair, I want you to be encouraged today. Know that God is still in control and he will give you a brand new outlook on life. All of a sudden, you start to adopt a new mindset and see the world through his eyes and not your own. It was God's greatest spokesman, the Apostle Paul, in Philippians 2 and 5, when he said these words, Let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. It was Jesus himself encouraging us in John 16 and 33, when he told us to be of good cheer. And it was that same Jesus, yet again, working in the mind of the Apostle Paul, when he said these words in Philippians 4 and 8. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. So I want to encourage you today to be positive and do away with negativity and negative things. For the benefit of your psyche, your mental, your state of mind, remember, God wants us to focus only on those things which are positive. Have a blessed week.